I also wanted to kind of ask about like managing the holidays and also studying for the LSAT because it's like you know I don't want to wake up Christmas morning and be studying but also like you know I got to stay on that routine schedule so you know it's kind of a unique time like I feel like because of break I'm off work right now it's like I got a I got a really good opportunity to spend all my time focused on the LSAT but it's also like how do I manage like Christmas and like social events and you know traveling for the holidays while also being super motivated to you know keep keep the momentum up Yeah. Great question. So I don't think that you need to study Christmas day morning. I think you can take off that morning and it's okay. You're not going to lose anything by, by missing a single day, but you don't want there to be an entire week that you go without studying, given that the December, the January LSAT is just three to four weeks away. Right. So you can strike a balance where, you know, Christmas, maybe Christmas Eve and Christmas day, you don't do anything those two days, or maybe Christmas Eve morning, you wake up and knock out a couple hours. And then on the 26th, you wake up early, knock out a couple hours. And then while you're traveling and you're sitting at the, if you're, are you flying? Um, I am driving half of the way. My friend and I are splitting the drive. Got it. Got it. Okay. So there's no flight involved. So if there was, I would have said maybe at the airport or something, but if that's not the case, maybe you just listen to one of my podcast episodes in the car while you drive. That's maybe that's a way to keep yourself in the LSAT law school admissions world for what is it a couple hours maybe? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's a way to do it. And then just if there are there other holiday things going on like the twenty sixth through the through New Year's. Yeah, I um I'm going to a concert on New Year's. Cool, which is, is going to be super exciting. But like you know, I'm just trying to keep momentum. Yeah, so I think I think it's fine. I think you know, let's say. New Year's Day, January 1st, you don't need to study that morning. You might be tired from the concert. That's okay. So just give you give yourself, you know, specific days off here and there. But that's it. So around that. So January 2nd, you're back to it. Maybe January 1st in the afternoon or the evening, you do a little bit if you're not too tired. If you are tired, that's okay. That's okay. Take a rest. Don't push it too much. But then get a good night's sleep on the first, wake up on the second, ready to get back to it. Okay. So it's, it's the, just stay consistent, but take days off. Yeah. A more, a more moderate approach. I, I don't want you to burn out. And strategically, we're just talking about here, really, you know, the, the 25th, the night of the 24th, 31st, 31st and the first, like it's really just, you know, three or four days and maybe even three and a half or three, depending on how you slice it, you could still get plenty done and the holidays don't have to throw you off track. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.